What ho and good evening, ladies and jellyfish. Now, what do we have tonight? Yes, we have <gasps> the, uh, so they call these the uh, Gibsons of Great Britain. Mm. And what is it? It is no less than a Gordon Smith handcrafted in uh, Manchester at the moment, I believe, uh, soon to move with all the tooling and expertise and whatnot to Northamptonshire. These guitars are nothing short of amazing and no wonder they call them the uh, Gibsons of Great Britain because they are superb. Let's have a quick listen. I'm only going to do a, bit of a little bit of a noodle for ooh, easy for me to say, isn't it? Only going to do a little bit of a noodle for you, uh, just so you can get an idea of what uh, of what this jolly, jolly, jolly nice instrument uh, sounds like, and uh, then we'll have a little look round it and uh, talk some more about it shortly.
Okie dokie. Well, so just a, you know, little bit of uh, noodling about there. But uh, really, what I'm, it's not about what I've played, obviously. It's just I want you to hear what this thing sounds like because it's glorious. These guitars are, the, uh, the pickups, as far as I am uh, given to understand, are hand wound and they're, you know, it's all custom made with proper copper, not that. I can't say Chinese crap, can I? But uh, you know, it's all it's quality stuff, quality stuff, and I can't believe that they come in at this kind of price. Um, and you've got the old, uh, you've got the uh, push pull here, which. <laughs> Okay, so it splits you from single to uh, double at the bridge end there, and uh, the centre position is, you know, it's you know, these are they, they're great. They're made of fabulous quality materials, uh, Brazilian cedar. I'm given to understand, but that is not the only stuff that they make them out of apparently they just make them out of whatever's good at the time so you know what you get is what you get and every gordon smith it varies from model to model and from year to year depending as i say on what they can find so now allegedly you can buy these with either and you can specify this because you've got to order the things you can sp some dealers obviously order ahead and they'll get them in front so that they've got a little stock in. But uh, when you order them, um, again, as I say, as I understand it, there's roughly a six month waiting list for your particular specification and you can have whatever you want on these, providing you're prepared to wait and pay the cost. So you can have different inlays or you can have a design on the body or different colors or a different finish. Uh, but so the bog stock ones oh right okay so this is a Gordon Smith 1.5 why is it 1.5 well you've got one humbucker here and you've got the um, single coil here and let me tell you folks these pickups are absolutely astonishing and uh, you've got the old stock tail there <sighs> they're beautifully beautifully crafted and they feel right and they Ooh's quality. So this particular one has a set neck, as you can see, but you can order them if you wish with a bolt-on neck. I'm not sure why you'd want one, but uh, there you go. The uh, Graftec, I believe, always came with a bolt-on neck. The older ones. Um, I'm not sure whether you had a choice or not, but. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the theme has remained the same throughout production. So, um, have a little run through them. So, that is the humbucker on uh, double. That is the humbucker on single. That is the in between position with single and single. That is the centre position with double and single. That's the neck. That neck pickup for a single is red hot. Um, they're so well. They're so well built. They're so well built. Warm, rich, deep, solid, proper, solid piece of wood. It's lovely. And on the splitter. So 
the, you know, it's a, really, let's take this out. And I'll turn that off. Hang on. Uh, so, uh, you know, very often uh, when you use the old uh, push pull, it's almost impossible to tell the difference between the two things, but this has got such a wide variety of tones. Now, on the Gordon Smith 2, which, uh, as I explained to you, 1.5, the 2, as you would imagine, has a humbuck and humbuck. And it also has, irritatingly, four knobs. And the reason I assume it has four knobs is so that you can split each humbuck. Now, they are... I mean, yeah, I mean, there's nothing... I mean, they're great. Uh, and for me, it really wouldn't make any difference because if you've seen any of my things before, as you'll know, I only use everything set on 11. I don't... If I want it quieter, I'll damp it. But that's just me. And so uh, they've got four knobs so that you can have corner split on each one book and um, they're apparently not very accessible to people who like to use knobs. I don't like using knobs. I just like it flat out and raw. Uh, so the finish is just the thing. Look at this thing. The finish is astonishing. That is absolutely. I've, I haven't. I haven't seen a better crafted guitar than this. And it comes obviously. Um, yeah, these are they. Uh, I don't, they look like mini Grovers, but I seem to think that they might be Gordon Smith's own. So you get a serial number with it. So you get a really nice um, uh, uh, Gordon Smith uh, logoed gig bag and bumper stickers and dangly stuff and all that kind of whatnot. They're worth the, they're worth the money. They're worth the money. There is I've gotta say, they're as they're as good as a Gibson. They are as good as a Gibson in terms of playability, setup, craft craftsmanship and sound. These are excellent guitars. If you, and as you've heard, the range of tones and the amount of raunch and also polite and funky uh, type stuff. Uh, it's you can't buy you can't buy better you can't buy better you can't buy better for the money and that's the point you cannot buy a better guitar than this at the price point that these coming at so uh, you know if you're a, they're pro instruments they're a pure pro instruments so if you want something that's going to last that's well built. And uh, the one point five, I prefer the one point five over the two because you've got a greater range of tones, and if you are the person, type of person rather, who likes to fiddle with a knob or two, then um, really the one point five is, for my money, so much so much better uh, than the uh, two. So thank you so much for watching. And it's adios, amigos, from me. And go oh, by the way, Gordon Smith wasn't a bloke, it was two blokes. Gordon something and somebody Smith. Gordon Bennett, I assume. And uh, I think it was actually John Smith. There's a rare name for you. So, say goodnight to Gordon and Mr. Smith. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Adios, amigos. Terra.